Welcome into the Chiefs Report. I am Harrison Graham, back with another video mailbag today. Thanks to everybody using hashtag Chiefs. You want to get on the next show, you can follow me at HGrahamNFL and tweet me your questions there. Why Not asks, if Devontae Smith falls to, us, falls to us, would Brett Veach draft him? Demarcus Robinson, a free agent. Sammy Watkins, a free agent. It would be exciting, why not, uh, wouldn't it? Uh, you want to make this the best offense in NFL history? Draft Devontae Smith next year and pair him with Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes and everybody else on this offense. Look, uh, people focus on Alabama's receivers this year as Jerry Judy and Henry Ruggs because they were the draft guys. Now everybody knows that they have two more guys coming out next year that are going to be first-round picks for sure. Devontae Smith, they also have Jalen Waddell. Smith actually le led Alabama in receiving yards and touchdowns this past year. That's how good he was. He will be a first-round pick in 2021, barring something surprising. Uh, he would be a lot of fun in this offense. Big play receiver. You compare him next to Judy and Ruggs last year at Alabama. He averaged over 20 yards a catch for the Crimson Time, or just right at it. 14 touchdowns uh, to Judy's 10, and, and Ruggs is 7. Had more yards than both of those guys as well. Devontae Smith is going to be a really, really good pro in a few years, and he would be exciting as heck on this Chiefs offense. And you do mention Demarcus Robinson, a free agent after this year. Sammy Watkins, a free agent. Very little chance they're both back in 2021. And there's a decent chance they're both gone, to be honest. I thought that was a possibility this year, but the Chiefs managed to bring both back. But I think uh, doing that again in 2021 is a bit of a tall task. I would not expect both Sammy Watkins and Demarcus Robinson to be back in 2021. All right, guys, I mentioned it briefly. If you want to be on our next mailbag video, here's what you got to do. You got to follow me on Twitter at HGramNFL. And once you follow me, submit your Chiefs questions. Our next mailbag will prioritize Twitter questions. So guaranteed to be on the show, tweet me your questions, and I will answer all of them on Twitter or uh, on our next video from Twitter. So at HGramNFL and submit your questions over there. Swagson124, do you think we should draft a receiver considering that Sammy and Demarcus are on one-year deal? Swagson was the one who mentioned uh, Robinson and uh, Sammy Watkins, our free agents. I wanted to pair these two questions together. And obviously, we just talked about Devontae Smith, who's one of the top guys. I have him as probably the second-best receiver prospect behind Jamar Chase out of LSU, who I think is leaps and bounds the best wide receiver prospect in 2021. Probably would have been in 2020. He's that good. Uh, he just wasn't eligible to come out. Justin Ross is another big play receiver out of Clemson. Uh, Jalen Waddle, the other Bama guy there. Then Rashad Bateman out of Minnesota is another good one as well. Keep an eye on Rondale Moore out of Purdue also. Uh, kind of an undersized uh, gadget type player. Actually really similar to Tyree Kill. Can do similar things like that. But you mentioned Watkins. You mentioned Robinson. You put these two side by side. What they did last year. Kansas City was able to bring both of them back. But it's a uh, it's a bit of a dilemma because you're probably going to lose one if not both of these guys after the 2020 uh, NFL season. I don't think you're going to bring Watkins back unless he's willing to take you know a lesser contract which I think he's going to want to take as much money as possible and then Demarcus Robinson uh, likely will not be back either because he took less to stay this year. I'm guessing he will likely want to cash in uh, starting in 2021. So pick one. Who would you keep if you can keep one? Type W for Watkins Type R for Robinson. Keep in mind, Sammy Watkins is going to cost you more money than Demarcus Robinson will. So uh, weigh that when you're answering this question. Go ahead and type W or type R. UU Angeles has a question using hashtag Chiefs. Who is the most underrated Chiefs player? Uh, a few names come to mind. Uh, you yo when I thought about this question because obviously when you think about teams like the Chiefs and you know the better teams in the NFL you don't really think about the underrated players you think about Patrick Mahomes you think about Tyree Kill you think about Travis Kelsey Chris Jones here are some guys that I think are underrated and maybe even underappreciated at times Dan Sorensen Dirty Dan do they win that Texans game if he doesn't sniff out that fake punt in the playoffs who knows that kind of turned the tide for Kansas City in that one I think he does a lot of dirty work hence the nickname, and is very underappreciated. Mike Pinnell, I thought he helped that rush defense a lot last year. Doesn't get talked about a bunch, but makes a lot of plays. Bashad Breeland, 
Is he a number one corner? No, but he was well above average last year. Hopefully he doesn't miss too many games this year due to a looming suspension. I think Damian Williams is underappreciated at times with what he does in the receiving game and on the ground. And then how about Harrison Butker? Quietly one of the best kickers in the league. Very reliable, very good. Yes, he's a kicker. We're not going to spend a lot of time on him on our shows, but uh, I think he's very underrated. And then, uh, look, if I have to pick one, I'm going to go Dirty Dan. I just think he does a lot of things on the field and on special teams specifically that don't get talked about. He's a good player. He's instinctive. He can play multiple positions. I think he is very, very underrated. And I think last year, Chiefs Kingdom was starting to appreciate him maybe a little bit more. Name a player you would like to see the Chiefs trade for. Go ahead and let me know down in the comment section. Any player out there, who would you like to see Kansas City trade for before the 2020 NFL season? Go ahead and type your votes down in the comment section. Just Raven Gaming, speaking of trades, do you think the Chiefs are done with trades or free agent signing? So real quick, this is kind of the recap of what Kansas City has done this offseason. It's been very, or, uh, fairly quiet. Obviously, Chris Jones got tagged. Uh, you restructured Sammy Watkins. Kendall Fuller walked. He took money in Washington. You brought back Bashad Breeland. Then obviously drafted some players, signed some UDFAs. Overall, you pretty much kept the gang together except for Kendall Fuller. That's essentially what's happened this offseason. Not a lot of big moves, and hey, a couple of things, right? Didn't have a ton of cap space, and you're the Super Bowl champ. You don't need to, you know, reinvent the wheel here. Just bring the guys back together and make another run next year. Now, as far as free agents go, I did my updated free agents targets about two weeks ago, and I believe all these guys actually continue to remain unsigned. So if you want to go check out that video, I got several names on the list. Go to uh, go to the you know the videos tab uh, right there on uh, on the page there, youtubecom TV. Got tons of videos up on the channel. You can watch that video. You can watch all kinds of videos. So go ahead and give us a subscribe and turn on notifications. You just hit that big red button. You turn on the notification button and then it'll pop into your inbox whether you're on desktop or on mobile help us get to 5,000 subscribers by June 1st we're about 230 away got about five six days here help us get there that is our goal all right Nicholas Shaw asks how many rushing and receiving yards will Clyde Edwards Elaire have this season I've gotten a lot of stat questions uh, for multiple players in the past uh, couple of weeks. So I'll, uh, I'll answer a couple of them here. Uh, Clyde edwards Alaire, this is what he did at LSU this past year. Completely under the radar, had almost 2,000 yards from scrimmage. Uh, obviously, Joe Burrow was the focus there at LSU in that magical uh, national title run. But edwards Alaire is a really good player, and there's a reason Kansas City drafted him in round one despite running back not being a major need. Now, I plug him in as running back two as a rookie behind Damian Williams, but I think it's really going to be more of a committee, which is what it's been since Kansas City released Kareem Hunt a couple of years ago. I'll just take a shot in the dark. I, you know, I, when you when you you get these articles all the time, uh, projected stats, they don't know. They're just guessing, and that's what I'm doing here. How about 368 rushing yards and 434 uh, receiving yards? Over 800 yards from scrimmage. Maybe it's a bit lofty. I got to see how the Chiefs use him in this offense. I do think he'll be more of a receiving threat as a rookie than maybe more of a rushing threat down the road, but Damian Williams still there, so you have to keep that in mind as well. So who's going to have more total yards in 2020? Is it going to be Damian Williams, or is it going to be Clyde edwards Elaire type D for Damian Williams, or type C for Clyde edwards Elaire? I'm going to type D, but I am not confident in it. They spent a first-round pick on edwards Elaire, so it would not surprise me if he became the featured back. All right, Keaton Ward here, another stat question. How many passing yards and touchdowns do you expect Patrick Mahomes to have? Do you think he will bounce back after a down year? I predict 4,500 yards and 40 touchdowns. Well, that's a lofty goal, even, you know, somewhat for Patrick Mahomes, but I think that could be about the range for him. He brought back the entire offense. Offensive line is back, should be healthier this year. Lucas Niang will probably get into the fold as well. You kind of look at his past couple of seasons here uh, for Patrick Mahomes. It's kind of a tale of two stories. You know, the MVP, he stayed healthy. He had a... Uh, uh, the more yards there, the 50 touchdowns, the rating was a little bit higher. But keep in mind, he was banged up last year. Missed a couple of games, left a couple of other games. So the 14 is even a bit skewed. Uh, but the interceptions were down, which is what I liked. And if you look at the tape, he was actually better as a whole 
in uh, 2019 as he was in 2018. He even talked about it. He didn't really learn how to read defenses until midway through 2019, which scared defensive coordinators around the NFL. So I think uh, the numbers will be closer to 2018 than they were in 2019. How about this? 50 touchdowns two years ago, uh, 26 last year. Over under 35 in 2020. Type O for over, type U for under. I think he'll hit the over on 35. Don't think he'll quite hit, hit 50, though. That's pretty hard to do, even in today's NFL. So again, taking another stab in the dark here. I'm going to go 4,600 plus yards, 38 touchdowns, and eight picks for Patrick Mahomes. He's been around that 66% uh, completion uh, spot since he's entered the NFL a couple of years ago. Just under 40 touchdowns, a couple more picks than last year because he'll, uh, he'll, he'll play all 16 games. I think that could be about the range for Mahomes in 2020.